Welcome back, everybody. Well, the final voyage. Final voyage, yeah. yeah. You've driven by these things a million times, mm -hmm. you know, ever on the lake shore, and the little huts out there on the lake. And I wondered, what's going on out there? So I figured, why not head out to the Harrison Deaver Water Crib, about two miles from shore, the final Hey Bill, get out. Actually, the second to the last, because tomorrow it really will be Hey Bill, oh, get right. out of here. Of course. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You know, if there's one thing all Chicagoans have in common, it's the constant search for nice lakefront property. And I heard about this place that has the most amazing views of the city. Only thing is we need we need this to get out there. Morning. Morning. Permission to come aboard? Permission, man. Oh, thank you, sir, very much. I brought a, uh, I brought this. I, I want to fit in. You're in. Beautiful. <laughs> We're going out to where? We're going out to the Harrison Deaver Crib. Yeah. It's uh, located out here in the lake, about two and a half miles offshore. Yeah. When you drive by and you see the cribs way out there, you didn't realize that's where all our water comes from, right? Yes, it supplies water to the Jardine Water Purification Plant. We're doing extensive work on the crib now. We have construction crew out here. These things have been here 100 years. 100 years? You think maybe I could rent a room out here? I doubt it. It was amazing. I doubt it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. Reminds me of my Alcatraz days. So this is the intake right here, huh? This is lake level. Here. This is the lake. Right. Okay. The water is gravity fed, comes in flowing here. into us, Let goes, it into the the gates. goes into the gates, goes into the shaft, goes down, and then they draw the water from us. All the way down to the city. Down. No bodies? No bodies. Anything no. strange? Nothing strange. Strange. I lost a contact lens in 1987. We you didn't guys find see that. it? You know, no, we didn't find that. Either. Keep an eye open, no. right? Yeah, right. But I'm thinking uh, if we go with the uh, the jacuzzi right here in this area, maybe build a beer cooler like in this wall. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We'll certainly put a barbecue pit on the side oh, there. Outstanding. I said we'll roast a pig. What's it like being out here for a week at a time, guys? Oh, for me, well, it's, uh, it's a pleasure. It's an honor to come out here and uh, come in from the city. Yeah, I love the Someone celibacy. I love hanging out with a bunch it's of guys. A, it's an emergency <laughs> job. We're out here to do it. Okay. Oh, so the guys get their own rooms. That's nice. <laughs> I see you guys are going for like an early one flew over the cuckoo's nest feel. That's what it is. Yeah. Or the lost weekend. <laughs> see, I don't know why you wouldn't want to work out on the crib. All the tomato paste you can eat, baby. Have there any been any female crib keepers? Have you ever had any? Uh, in two weeks, we are going to have female bricklayer out here. Maybe when the lady comes out here, she can give out some suggestions about curtains and drapes Decorating. and things like that. Yeah. yeah. I don't think guys have that finesse for that drapes. Touch. And, yeah, that, yeah. That woman's touch. And, and you probably don't get cable out here, so... We it's don't a, get cable out here, so we're kind of stuck with the same old... Same old crap on Channel 9. Yeah, yeah. a lot of reruns. <laughs> but then uh, the perk of the job is, is that you get a, a view most commuters will never see. Most commuters won't ever see this. It just glistens like oh, uh, diamonds. Beautiful. Right? This whole lakefront, all the lights are on. It's really something to see. You know, this is going to be incredibly cliched, but... I can't get on a boat without doing this. I'm king of the world! See, I knew that was going to be stupid. Fun little time out there. They made some great lasagna. Told some great stories. A captain uh, who's been out going out there for 40 years in that icebreaker. That's the only icebreaker uh, that the city uses, and he busts through. But told me a great story about once uh, a sailor got lost in the fog while some guys were working out there, mm -hmm. and like docked right at the crib and walked in and walked up and like woke one of the guys up, and a guy later went through the roof. You know, <laughs> how did you get out here? Right. You know, because if there's one place where you shouldn't have to lock your doors, right. it's a water <laughs> crib two miles out in the middle of the lake. And they said they've been approached several times by entrepreneurs who want to turn it into a nightclub. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, you could call it the crib. You know, yeah. you can take a boat out there and uh, disco away, but you know, if you get hit on by creeps, you, you have to swim to shore or something. I don't know. Well, he scared me at the end of that piece. I thought you were going to grab the captain and go to the front. Yeah, you know. It's good to see how your mind works. Right? Yeah.